All right, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Courier Cat. You're joining me here on my channel, and we're working on Pride Pier today. Uh, doing a little live stream tonight, late night live stream. Oh, look at that, it's 11 11 p.m. If you uh, believe in that sort of lucky thing, make that wish. Um, it, it's not 11 11 in my game, it's probably 5 11 or 6 11, I believe. I changed the time just so I had a little light to use while I'm doing this. Um, today, today we are going to be working on a couple of things. As you can see here, I moved Kabuki's house and the museum off, well, uh, off screen. Well, well, not recording or streaming. Move the museum back here. Give a little more room. That means I also obviously moved to the Able Sisters. Uh, let's go over what all I did really fast here. Again, it was mostly off-screen stuff that time-consuming, need to wait for buildings to move, just laying down some custom patterns. Change the custom pattern path here. I th yeah, in my last stream, this was already done here. Change the custom pattern and did this little sitting area, this little park over by the Nook's Cranny, but decided I also, sorry, have a little itch in my eye, probably a eyelash also wanted to move able sisters over here since I was moving it anyway so I did the custom path down this way um, just put up the put put everything back basically where it was before so no big no huge change there but yeah like I said I wanted to do I want to do stuff like that for the most part off screen because it can get boring watching somebody putting a path down all day long and you know don't really want to sit there and wait and wait and wait well I time travel or just wait until the next day until the buildings are done so yeah we uh, again moved the museum moved Kabuki's house back there just to add a little more room here for whatever and I think part of that whatever is going to be getting rid of this tree here possibly and putting in a flower hybridization area over here. I think it'll match really well with everything else Kabuki has going on. Uh, we also have all of Kabuki's yard stuff over here. So let's actually get into it. Um, I have most of what I want and need and then some here. So I'm just going to pick this up. Oh, I wonder if that's picking up my audio off of my telephone. Oops. There we go. I was wondering what I was hearing. I thought I heard me, but uh, that didn't make any sense until it did. I guess. Okay. Anyway. So, let's start on this. I, I really want to get Kabuki's yard back in order because his yard's one of the highlights of the island, I think, on Pride Pier. It's just a fun, fun area. I really like the idea and such behind the, or behind Kabuki's yard with him being the caretaker and uh, groundskeeper over here for the museum and flower garden. Hmm. Since we have all this extra room over here, first, I am going to do some custom path here whilst we're waiting, or whilst uh, we're doing the designing today, but I already have a very good idea what I want to be doing, so <laughs> I know most people won't believe that. I can't blame them. Ah, no, I don't want to wear that. I still don't want to wear that. Okay, there we go. Th this is why I say nobody wants to watch me laying path, although, I mean, frankly, it's probably rather entertaining. Or at least hilarious. But, yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately, just... You know, life and things still going on. Again, not bad things. Well, mostly not bad things. My, my bank account disagrees with that after taking the car to the mechanic yesterday. It uh, thinks very bad things are going on. 
and I can't entirely disagree with it. Yeah, I had to, uh, the, had, was having some brake issues, which I knew that was just the rotors fine, but I uh, got a nasty little surprise when I took it in and found out it, that, yeah, yes, it was the rotors, but also my uh, struts were absolutely destroyed. They, I mean, about 150,000 miles on my car, I'm not really surprised, but I was hoping to get away with ignoring that for a little while longer. Alas and alack, that was not to be. But, oh well, yeah, that that's uh, part of life, I suppose. I mean, it definitely is part of life, just, if you have a car. And I mean, let's be honest here, I'm not exactly, I, I don't exactly baby my car. It's, uh, yeah, I'm a pizza guy in an area with some very, very steep hills and often terrible roads. Because, you know, in Utah, they do not like to do construction on roads that anybody actually uses on a normal basis. And if they do do that construction, they do it every single year and ignore everywhere else. So, yeah, that that's that. It's, uh... Again, it is what it is. Could be a lot worse things in life than that. There are definitely a lot worse things in life than that. So, anyway, yeah, that was not the uh, greatest day I've had yesterday. But otherwise, now everything's uh, pretty all right in life. Uh, we have, my husband and I, have our vaccinations scheduled coming up here, uh, first one on Sunday, and the following one, May 11th, I believe, finally able to find places, well, found a lot of places doing them, nobody having any in stock, though, but finally found, finally found a place, so got those scheduled right fast as soon as I saw there were openings. trying to do that for a while hmm that's not exactly what I was wanting to do there that is absolutely not what I was wanting to do there okay <sighs> again this this is why I do a lot of the uh, path work laying down etc off camera because uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a hot mess, guys. Hmm. There. Okay, that I like. Yeah. All right. I think that works pretty darn well. Let's do this real fast as well. So we need that corner. There we go. And we need... Oh, what did I do? I got a Nuke Miles notification. I don't know why. Let's find out. That's curious. Oh, well, okay, I guess, thank, thank you, Tom, I guess that's probably just, you know, opening and using the phone a certain number of times, 
All right, so we're almost done putting this pathway down. Again, thankfully I had a bit of an idea what I wanted to do before starting in on this, so. Unlike usual when I start pathing, I know about where I want it to go, but uh, that's really about it. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm digging that. Okay, so let's start decorating Kabuki's yard finally. What all do we have? Outdoor bench, mug, homework set. Oh, no, that's for the other area. Tool card, bamboo noodle slide. You know, I think I want to see the bamboo noodle slide over here. Not, that's not what I want. That's what I want. That's not what I want. That is what I want. Okay. Because I am organized or something. Said nobody ever. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's see what else we have here for his yard. We have wooden toolbox, bamboo shelf. Ooh, bamboo shelf, yes. Let's see here. New the bamboo shelf doesn't work as well there as I thought. Water pump, wooden bucket. Ooh, the wooden bucket might work well. Hmm. You know, Kabuki, you could help with this. It's your yard. Ungrateful. Okay. Mm, terrarium. You know what? Terrarium and wooden bucket. Possibly. Let's see how that that looks. Not where I wanted it. Probably because I was standing right where I wanted it. We'll leave it there for the moment and come back to it. What is this? Oh, okay, that can stay there, I guess. For now, at least. Hmm. No, that's going to have to move. I'm going to have to shake the orange tree. Eat me an orange or two because this tree has to move. Okay. There, I have eaten some oranges. I haven't had an orange in a while. Odd. So, what all else is going on? Um. Yeah, got our vaccination scheduled. Uh, got the car. Yeah, really not a whole lot else other than work going on. And that's a good thing. I, I'm, you know, spending time with my husband, going to work, spending time with my cats, just relaxing for the most part and enjoying my life. I have a good life. I cannot complain overall. Things have certainly in my life being a lot worse numerous times. So, okay, let's drop this bamboo shelf here. See if I can push that in one. No, I cannot? Okay. I wish I could do that, but okay. We're gonna put the tool cart right here, in theory. There we go, and the tool box upon a set of card. There, all right. Now what else, cypress plant. Okay, we'll come back to that water pump. Where'd that wooden bucket go? Oh, I put it over there, didn't I? Ha 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 ha, I remember things. 
there. I need this over here. Water pump. All right. Place this here. Mm, turn it. Mm, turn it. There. Okay. And wooden bucket. There it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I just picked the thing up. So how's everybody else doing? Let me know. Let me down in the chat if you're here. Let me know. Let me know in the uh, comments how you're doing. How, just want to know how everybody's doing. Well, you know, that works. It's good enough. Precisely where I did not want it. Okay. Oh, I can't move it farther forward. Yeah. Bad planning. Oh, I did also, I'll show you in a little bit here. I did also install a new bridge. Um, widened the river a little bit. Just to make access a little easier on a couple areas. Nothing, nothing too major. Plus, also, up my island's uh, rating a little bit more. Okay, ironwood low table for the bamboo spear and traditional tea set, I think. New. Yes. Yes. Also, hopefully the sound is good, not too loud, not too quiet on my voice and the music. I haven't had a... I, I tested it a little, but uh, I also had to adjust a few things, so... I thought it sounded fine. We'll see here in just a bit, I hope. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, I'm curious. Can I put that bamboo spear up there? Let's find out, shall we? I cannot. Okay. Oh, well. A little unfortunate, but I'm not exactly heartbroken because that's not where I was planning it to be anyway. We have the cypress plant, the cypress bathtub, and simple DIY workbench. All right, I think the simple DIY workbench could go here or not. Maybe here. I don't. I don't know. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, I like that. That looks really cute. At least I think so. So, watering can, cypress plant, and cypress bathtub. Hmm. No, I, I don't think the cypress bathtub will fit there. I hope the cypress plant will. It will not at the moment. Okay, fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move that wooden bucket again. Hmm. Because it would make far more sense, I suppose, to have that here. Hmm. 
pardon me, a little itchy nose. There, okay. Yeah, I like that. That is looking awfully darn cute. I think what I'm going to do is put another little custom design on the ground over here. I think this should look just lovely right there. Just have a little spot where he obviously stands to work on things. Okay. Let's try this uh, Cypress bathtub. It will not fit there, I can tell you that. Okay, let's try it here. Oh, I think I'm liking that. Push it back a little bit. There we go. And then we can put the plant right about here, in theory. Yes. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turning out. I may have to move this uh, bamboo tr tree as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. I can always put it back if I don't end up needing to have it moved, but yeah, whatever. It is all good. Okay. There we go. Now, one thing I was wanting to do as well is do a flower hybridization garden. So, yeah, we're going to be putting that right in this little area here. Um, however, I am going to go to intermission for just a moment. I will be back very shortly. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I just figured nobody really wanted to see or hear me blowing my nose and wiping it because I had a little bit of a runny nose. Had a little sneeze earlier. I think there's just... The weather here lately has been... It's been like a caffeinated, sleep-deprived toddler, quite honestly. Um, so there's all sorts of being in Salt Lake City area dust and garbage in the air. The air quality here is awful. So, yeah, when it rains, the car ends up dirtier than it was before. So it's washing all the pollutants and dust and such out of the air. And yeah, it's then it dries out real quick the next day and all the dust goes back in the air. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that, I guess. So, Anyway, let's start doing this. So what I'm looking at is hmm, it would be a six by three area, really, plus the fencing. So let's see if I can do this on the first try. Any bets that I can't? Oh, 
Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but... Okay. That's also not exactly what I wanted. Okay. Ooh, actually, I think I like that better there anyway. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? That, no. Okay, why is this doing it? No. Oh, my God. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Okay, I might have to move this apple tree as well. Hmm. Yeah, looking like I may. That's okay. Because moving trees in Animal Crossing is far easier than moving trees in real life, thankfully. I don't know if you've ever tried to move a full-grown tree in real life. It is not something I recommend doing. It's not fun, not easy. It is very entertaining, I'll give it that much. Okay, that really... Okay. Now let's go back in and grab more fence. There. Okay. So that's going to be one. Hmm. I might actually just do this real fast. Yes, I do need to do that so I can get some path work laid some dirt put down. This will probably help me immensely. Do I want dirt or dark? I don't, let's do dark dirt. I like that. <sighs> For the love of God. Okay. <laughs> now, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. And now you'll, you're, you'll see in a moment the reason I'm going with such a specific size. Because flower hybridization is a bit of a pain. There, there are, by the way, flower hybridization, if you're new to the game... Um, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're just crossing colors of flowers with each other. Hello, Lunari! You're just crossing flowers with each other, different colors, to get different colors. It's, it's, it's exactly as it sounds. But uh, there are certain different ways, you know, Obviously, different colors of flowers will get you different colors of flowers. Um, there are also certain methods that tend to work a little better, and I'll show you those here in just a moment, as soon as I get some more of this fence put down. I already have the flowers I'm wanting to work on, so that will make it easier. Now... First, let's start with the white windflowers. So, the white windflowers. Let's go over here. Um, two white windflowers. You want to start with the the bag flowers that you can buy from Leaf or at the Nook's Cranny, uh, because certain ones you'll cross. Say, let me look at uh, here to get the correct information. Um, so I don't oops and 
you know, make everybody very upset. <sighs> yeah, it, it does take a little bit of work. Okay, roses, for example. You can buy red roses from Leaf or the Nooks, or you can buy find red roses out on the Mystery Islands, or you, you may even start with some red roses. So when you put two red roses together, just the straight up ones, we're gonna we're just going to basically assume I'm talking about the ones you buy, the bags like I have right there. Um, so you have some red roses that you have in the bags you plant those you can either get a hybrid black or a hybrid pink rose now that's great but you will not get a hybrid red rose you will get a hybrid red rose from a uh, orange or a purple one or an orange and a purple one now that's important because you need the hybrid red roses not the standard purchased red roses you need the hybrid red roses to get the blue roses that's the only way to get the blue roses or get them from somebody else's island i suppose um, but if you want to grow them on your own the hybrid red is the only way to get the blue roses so there, there is that um, yeah, it is, it, it can be a pain, but with what I'm doing in the flower garden down below, I'm wanting one of every available color of the flower in each area. So, that's a thing, yeah. But there, again, there, if you're looking for guides to get the different colored flowers, there are numerous websites, numerous guides out there to look at that can help walk you through it um, so we're going to do this that was silly of me because I already planted one in the wrong place and again I planted one in the wrong place okay we're gonna be like this today are we so that's fine we can dig those up no harm no foul Oh, look, I actually hit the spot I was aiming at. Okay, let's try that once again. Now, yeah, again, no harm, no foul. So we're putting the white windflowers here, obviously. We're starting with those. The white windflowers will get me, I believe... Oh, that was silly of me. Uh, I can't remember. I, I know I'm going on a specific path with this here but oh yeah the white wind flowers will get me a blue wind flower which I need for other flowers obviously otherwise I would not be messing around with this oh yeah I'm a mad lad aren't I Lunari I live life on the edge on the edge of my chair possibly on the edge of the bed, I you know, let my feet hang off so it's a little bit cooler. But okay, so now I laid them out like this specifically because if you want to hybridize the flowers, you need to have them next to each other. But let's say, for example, I'll go over here. Um, I will not go over here. Let, let's say, for example, they're in a really crowded area um, that will lessen the likelihood of one growing there this this gives one two three four spots around here where they could grow so i could i could have multiple chances every day of the correct color that i want growing so yeah that that's why i i do it like this you you don't have to absolutely don't have to but uh, this this to me is just it's a very sensical way of doing it okay so let's get the white pansies down the white pansies make the blue pansy much like the white windflower but that's not always going to be the case uh, mums for example Two white mums make a purple mum. Uh, two white roses make a purple rose. 
So, yeah, white and white will not always make blue. Why? Because this is genetics, not uh, the color scheme or color wheel. We, we are not RGBing it up here. So how have you been, Lunari? Haven't uh, haven't really had a chance to chat much lately. As I was saying earlier in the uh, stream, it's just it's been a little busy. Could be better, could be worse in life. Mm. This has to go. I want to be able to come through here. Okay. And I also want this balloon. That is not what I want. No, God. And watch, now I'm going to drop it right into the ocean, aren't I? Oh, close. Because I am a hot mess. A brine shrimp aquarium. Just what I needed. I did not even know that was a thing. Oh, what have I now? I'm just collecting nook miles like a mad lad here. Flower power. Oh, yeah, because I am planting more fleur. So, yeah, and let's see. Oh, Lunari uh, says, yeah, about the same, but I just played the classic Resident Evil, and that was pretty nice. We were just talking about that last night. I was watching another uh, YouTuber, a uh, much more famous uh, Let's Player than I. Much, much. His name starts with an M and ends with a plier. Uh, love watching him, though. Uh, Markiplier, he was playing... You know, he does his three scary games, which is always fun. But then he was playing another game that was based off of the PT game. Um, sort of. But it was a throwback to the PS1 days with the game design. And it, it looked like if they mixed PT with the original Resident Evil, and it actually looked really good. So... Okay, let's see what else we have going on here. I do want to get the at least the fruit trees back down over here somewhere. I'm thinking I may just put one here someplace. Yeah, I know there's not. Of course there's not because I want to. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine there because I can't get through here anyway, so that is just fine there. I may drop this orange tree back here behind Kabuki's house. Plant. I'm sorry, what do you mean there's no room to plant things in this area? Oh, you liar. Okay. You know, there is room to plant things in this area, though. I'm sorry? And why? Fine. Oh, okay, so I can dig there now. Sure. All right. <laughs> oh, Animal Crossing, you're silly. I mean, I kind of want to put that bamboo uh, plant here, but I also don't really want to block this. Hmm. We can put it here, maybe. Ha ha ha. Will it let me? Wow, it let me. Cool. Don't ever plant bamboo in your yard, guys and gals and everybody in between. 
don't don't ever do it it will take over the lawn you cannot get rid of it you try to cut it down it will just grow back you try to burn it and it will just send it send its seeds up in the air and be worse than ever you it is literally near impossible to get rid of bamboo it's cool but don't plant it in your yard unless you want really mad neighbors Oh, what is next, Raymond? What is up, Raymond? You are not a dog. You got a problem. Apparently, you bought a clay furnace. Okay. Well, apparently, you did. Why would you need something like that? I don't, don't I have one in your yard? Yeah, sure, I'll buy it. I, I like those clay furnaces. They're pretty cool. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, those things are a lot more expensive than 4,200 bells. Thank you, Raymond. Yes, that, that's always good. So, yeah, we have the uh, windflowers and the pansies growing here. And like I said, hopefully we'll be getting some blue ones in these open spots fairly soon. Now, I may come by later and redecorate or redo the layout just a tad. It's a little tighter over here than I would like to have seen it. But it's it's workable for now. Overall, though, I am pretty darn pleased with how this area turned out. And I still have a wooden bucket to place. I think that's going to be the running theme of this entire stream here. Where is that wooden bucket going? I am audible. Yes, I can be heard. I hope. Yeah, okay, looks like. For just a moment, though, I cannot be heard. Okay. Sorry, a little tickle in my throat. Don't worry, I am not sick. I'm fine. I am a 45-year-old person who has been smoking for many years. Yes, I know it's bad. I've been smoking, not living under a rock. Don't smoke, kids. Don't plant bamboo. Don't smoke. That's today's life advice. Don't plant bamboo in your yard. Don't smoke. And... As my grandfather told me, never put your elbow in your ear. Don't do it. Okay. So, now that that ridiculousness is done. Okay, good. That ridiculousness is not quite done, actually. Because... I forgot I wanted to decorate specifically for the flower hybridization area. So that piece of fence there has to go away. And that's fine. We need to put the outdoor bench here. Perfect. Alright, and then I want to put this here. Yes. And then the mug here. Yes, okay. No, I want that the other way. I believe Kabuki is right-handed. Yeah, there is amazing detail information on the villagers in this game. It just, things like their birthdays, you know, all sorts of stuff. It's really kind of cool. So I'm trying to stick as close to a lot of that as possible. There. And that's how he's, you know, keeping track of the flowers, etc., etc. Hey, it's my island, it's my headcanon, him and Raymond are in love, he loves to work on flowers. It's fine. Yeah, I am pretty pleased with how that turned out. I am going to, however, put that bush right here the red camellia you are a liar of course any other time it would shove me straight back okay fine they're happy now all right and that still leaves this open to get through judy what are what are you on about now sweetie oh no Whatever should you do? Let's let's find out. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Oh, well, what are you selling today? 
Okay. I okay. This is one thing in the playthrough uh, that I always wish they would change a little bit is the randomness of this, because um, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I'd be interested in the first item, but I'm also wanting to know what the other three items are. Darn, the other three items are garbage. I don't want them. But I also want to buy something from you. Can I go back to the first? No, I can't go back to the first one? Okay. No, just tell me what all four are. Let me pick. I, maybe I want to buy all four of them. Well, aren't I lovely? No, sweetie. No, look look, look at this. I am. I, I are not lovely. Garden faucet. I don't need a garden faucet. Well, that's rude. If you don't mind, I, I would mind. Hot rack for 2100 bill. I mean, that's two good things right off the bat. This is what I'm saying here. I want to see what the other two are. You know what? Fine, I'll just take the pot rack. Gotta have some place to put my pots. Here, you're quite welcome, Judy. She is a sweetheart, though. Okay, so. I may be wrong here, but I bet if I open my inventory, I'm going to look in there and I'm going to see that wooden bucket still. Yeah, yep. Okay, this wooden bucket has to go somewhere. Hmm. You know, I think for now, the wooden bucket can just go here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or not. Okay, we're... We are just going to, um... Put the wooden bucket here, maybe? Well, we'll try, at least. Why, why does this hate me when I'm on screen? That's a lie. That, that is a bold-faced lie. We are going to put this bucket over here one way or the other. Animal Crossing White, why do you hate me? That's rude. Okay. Fine. Can I place it maybe here? Oh, you will let me place it there. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's good. I think this actually works really well for Kabuki's house and the flower garden and all that. Yes, I, I like this a great deal. Okay, I am indeed happy about that. Is this just a plain hardwood tree? Yeah, that's fine. I don't need it. Okay. Now then, we have that done. I do want to decorate this area a little more as well, but that will be on another stream or another episode. So we'll, we'll get back to that. Now, what else was I going to be doing? Let me look. Flower hybridization area... Kabuki's Path and Yard. Okay. Oh, I was also going to talk about the Build-A-Bear and Animal Crossing New Horizons collaboration. I'm sure if anybody or any of you have been following that at all, you already know the overwhelming majority opinion about it. What a train wreck. Very disappointed. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Tom Nook. I like Isabelle. But to have such a huge collaboration with such potential, it was absolutely squandered. I mean, there is talk that they may be, much like the Pokemon collaboration, they may be releasing more and more as time goes by. But still, to start out with just Tom and Isabel, no, that's ridiculous. Especially with the way they did it with the online waiting rooms 
and everything, and from what I understand, not announcing right away to everybody when things were sold out, so people were still waiting for no reason. Um, yeah, don't get me wrong. The online waiting rooms, that's fine. That's fine. Especially considering, you know, COVID and all that. But the way they handled it was abysmal. Um, yeah, I just, I, I can't understand what happened here with this. It's, uh, I mean, again, Tom Nook, Isabel, great. They're adorable characters. They, the Builder Bears look really good. Oh my goodness. Yes, Flurry. But to miss out on characters like, again, how could you not have Stitches as one of the premier characters for it? It's Build-A-Bear. It's a stitched together patchwork bear. The logic behind what they were doing is beyond me. I mean, I don't know. They're a multi-million dollar company. So, who am I to say? But, I just don't get it. What, what? It's a new nickname. It is not a new nickname. No. Thank you. Yeah, and, you know, the super popular, especially new ones like Judy and Raymond, um, Marshall, how... Okay, Marshall's not one of the new ones, but how they decided on this, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. So that's, that's my opinion on that. Uh, there's a big push to say, you know, forget Build-A-Bear, forget the big companies like that, go on Etsy and purchase from small creators... Um, and I'm all in favor of that. I can't see the legalities of it, though. Um, in fact, I question the legalities of it using the images of the Animal Crossing characters. But that is, quite honestly, not my problem. I, I say support the small local designers and creators because they understand what the community wants. They put pride in their work. They, they actually care for the most part. Um, so yeah, go, go check them out. Uh, Etsy or whatever other platform you may want to look at. That's fine. I did Etsy as an example. Um, see what Molly is making here. A peach umbrella, I think I do that. I do know that already, yeah. But, yeah, I, I also recommend checking out the uh, independent small creators out there. Because, again, yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, yes, thank you, Molly. You can give me that recipe for the, whatever it is, peach umbrella. Yeah, okay. I will promptly go sell that at Nook's Cranny, I'm sure. Unless anybody wants the peach umbrella currently here. But if you're playing this, I'm pretty certain you've already got the peach umbrella. I think that just, that's like day one or two. It shows up out of nowhere in your DIYs. It is also cherry blossom season. Oh, that's what I was wanting to make. Ha ha ha. Let's hop back. I, I would use the pipe to get back to my house, but I was right by it anyway, so whatever. Yeah, that, that Mario pipe, that is truly a game changer when it comes... My God, more bells? When it comes to traveling across the island to craft things. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a shell stool today somewhere. I don't know. Let's scroll down. Oh, Bunny Day, you hideous beast. 
But yes, I did do the Bunny Day event just to get all of the DIY recipes. So Lunari, question for you, since you were the one who originally brought it to my attention. Um, the sound quality, is it much better now? I, I do hope it is. I think it is. So I need 14 cherry blossom, 2 hardwood, and 8 clay. Ooh, I am going to have to go catch some cherry blossom petals soon because this will take them all but one away. Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, I have also been collecting crafting materials off screen as well because, again, it's very boring to watch somebody just wander around their island and shake and chop at trees all day. At least I think it's boring. Really? Okay, I can definitely fix that. Is that a little better there? And that's just fine-tuning right there. We'll, we'll get that figured out. I also need to still get a pop filter and screen for this microphone which I have the foam right over here for it but I've been lazy but yes I want to craft this and I want to craft this I absolutely love this item I've seen it on other islands I've just recently gotten the Cherry Blossom Branches DIY for the very first time. But every time I see it, I absolutely love it. I hear it is a pain to put down because it takes up far more space than you think it does. So we're about to find out where I can't put this. Which, with my luck, is anywhere. Uh, because, you know, Animal Crossing loves me that way. But, oh yes... I, I did put a bridge here just because. Again, it makes it flow a little nicer over there. You don't have to use it. I still like to use the stepping stones, but for people visiting and for the other villagers, it seems to make it a little easier for them to get around to the area, especially if they're trying to come down from up here because there's really only one path down from up there, and it's way over here. And even then they have to go across, how do they, I suppose they can jump as well, can't they? But yeah, it's, uh, it helps it flow a little bit better. So, okay. You know what? I think that terrarium needs to go elsewhere because... No? Oh, wow, it will let me put it there. Ooh, that is pretty. You know what? That works just fine right there. Cool. Now I have a terrarium and a bonsai to figure out where to put. Put them in the bucket, I suppose. Hmm. Let's see here. Terrarium... Bonsai. Bonsai, okay. No? We can't do that? Okay. We'll not, we'll not go any closer. Alright. Does that work? Can I push it back one? Yes? Yes, I can. Okay. Wow, oh, yeah, I really like that. Yeah. Burn ice, burn ice. Now that terrarium. We can give that terrarium to somebody else. Who who deserves a terrarium? Judy, let's look at your yard. What do you have going on here? 
I like the simplicity of your yard here. That's fine. Yeah, we don't need a terrarium over here, Judy. Um. Hmm. Eric, uh, I'm not feeling Eric having a terrarium. Uh, Pippi, what's going on? I, you know, I don't have a choice, do I? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we'll put a terrarium right here. If I can find my terrarium. There it is. Not a phrase you hear every day, if I can find my terrarium. Can we please thank you? Okay. Can I push it in one? I cannot. That's fine. Okay. No, that works just fine, though. All right. Now, let's see what else we have on us now, other than a whole bunch of stuff that we found and were given. Um, hardwood tree. You know, I think that is everything I wanted to use. And then some, I'll say. So, yeah. Oh, hello, another balloon. What do we have? Other than a broken slingshot. <sighs> okay. You know, I am positive I have shot down more than 100 present. A cardboard box. Cool. You know, I have to go in and look at that because I am sure I've shot down more than 100 and I have not gotten my recipe for the golden slingshot yet. I was pretty sure it was at 100. I might have to go back and re uh, reinvestigate that. Ah, <laughs> right there. Yeah, I am almost at, is it 300 then? Okay. See, one would think by, uh, if it was 100, that by 260, I would have seen the gold balloon by now. Uh, Raymond and Nana getting drunk out here in the plaza. Nana, go away. Yeah, I'm overall extremely happy about how Kabuki's yard turned out. I could be happier, though. You know, I may off screen because we're already sitting at an hour on this one, so I'll probably call it pretty soon. I may just see about changing this so it's six wide and three tall. Just basically shifting it, you know. Really all I would have to do is move these trees. I would open a lot more walkway here. So yeah, I may do that, I may not. I guess we'll just have to tune in next time to find out. Until then, yeah, I think I am going to call this good. Hello, Julian, you adorable icon, you. What you doing? Just hanging out? Cool. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call this an episode for today, a stream for today. I want to thank everybody for joining me. That is not what I meant to do there. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thank you for letting me join you as well spend time with you. Thank you for spending your time with me. Again, I really appreciate that. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps me a lot. And again, it means the world to me because I, I really love sharing my, my content in these streams and uh, videos and builds with you, with everybody, because it, you know, it just, it feels good to me to spend time like that and to share what I enjoy, and to find out what others enjoy as well. So, yeah, please subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff. Um, until next time, hopefully very soon, you know, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, 
stay hydrated, don't plant bamboo. What was the third thing? Well, fourth thing also, don't put your elbow in your ear. And there was another thing though. Yeah, go back later and watch it again. This is my life advice though. So, but again, yeah, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, stay hydrated. Much love. Until next time, bye-bye everybody.